Hare Krishna. Uh, today, you need to lesson 7 uh, Initiation Vows. So, we all know uh, initiation, initiation Vows, the minimum 16 rounds everyone need to chant of Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare. And we need to uh, follow four regulative principles that is must the first one is no meat eating so no meat eating means it's not only that meat of some uh, like a kind of like a chicken mutton not only that all the tamoguni things we should avoid like in some places of india like bengal some people think that Okay, fish is not non veg. For example, fish is not non veg, like that. And some people think, okay, eating egg is not non vegetarian, it's egetarian. No. Fish, any kinds of meat, any kinds of uh, eggs, and even three more things onion, garlic, masur dal. Masur dal can be of any color, like uh, maybe. Uh, red, black, yellow, whatever the varieties. We can't eat masur dal because we cannot offer to Krishna these tamoguni foods. So onion, garlic, masur dal are tamoguni foods and meat, fish, eggs also comes under no meat eating. If one follow this principle, then daya come to his heart means his heart uh, become uh, capable to understand Lord Krishna daya means mercy means he is not killing any living entity out of test it is very important second principle is no intoxication so no no intoxication includes all kinds of intoxication alcohol cigarette gutka or some supari um, or uh, includes like uh, nicotine caffeine in tea and coffee also tea and coffee yeah one can take uh, tea that is called tea but it is an ayurvedic drink like uh, arjun tea available in iskon or uh, like ginger tea you make at ho home ginger honey and lemon that is also called tea but this is actually not a tea it's a drink uh, normal ayurvedic drink for good for your health so if if somebody drinking tea and they are habitual then it's a it's a uh, it's actually they it's very difficult to avoid because they will tell okay i'm having headache why you are getting headache because tea is having uh, nicotine coffee is having caffeine but there are available coffee powder in ISKCON that is caffeine free. It is called coffee but it is an Ayurvedic drink. So that is a substitute we can use and we can uh, leave intoxication. Any kinds of intoxication um, like uh, in western countries when Srila Prabhupada went that hippies were taking um, drugs. But after chanting uh, holy name and association of Srila Prabhupada they left this uh, great kind of even uh, intoxication that's why American government they actually uh, spend so much money on the like uh, to so that people don't uh, uh, people uh, don't uh, take drugs and they avoid but when they, they saw that uh, this movement Krishna conscious movement Srila Prabhupada is doing it's very easily uh, without uh, doing anything like it's like a magic they are uh, chanting and doing kirtan in Hare Krishna Mahamantra and uh, they changed themselves they stopped meat eating they stopped intoxication they stopped gambling they stopped illicit sex so that's why no intoxication and if we don't take any intoxication then tapasya we can do for to um, reach krishna sprema we need to do some tapasya we need to regulate our life we need to do the daily sadhana we need to fast for Ekadashi, etc. Some tapasya, we need to preach and uh, we need to uh, study uh, scriptures, we need to hear regular lectures. So, this kind of tapasya is possible if we avoid intoxication. 
because without the paisa nothing is possible even in this material world to become a good businessman also you need to do some the paisa third one is no illicit sex means uh, except in the marriage uh, marriage or before marriage or uh, after marriage also there should be no extra marital affairs and if somebody do that they um, lose their shaucham shaucham means uh, uh, it means uh, cleanliness you know purity they lose their purity and without purity we cannot understand krishna purity is the force so any kinds of uh, even after marriage uh, extra marital affairs and any kinds of vulgar talks with somebody else and uh, not uh, like not in the marriage line or outside or any kinds of uh, like this kind of you know related we should avoid and uh, no gambling means uh, it includes obviously gambling but also uh, buying lottery tickets and this kind of things also comes under gambling and gambling if somebody do uh, satyam satyam will be not there so one become one can become truthful only when they leave the gambling so these four principles are uh, also mentioned in shrimad bhagavatam 1.17.24 now uh, the question is uh, even in your handbook it is mentioned that uh, what shila prabhupada why gave so much importance and what he said that if we don't follow four regulative principles what will happen shila prabhupada is saying it is not very difficult to follow the four regulative principle we all know that shila prabhupada first went he was preaching in india but uh, his guru's instructions was that uh, preach outside uh, india because Prabhu Prabhupada was highly educated and good in English. So, Prabhupada went to America. At that time, actually, um, Britain was considered uh, the, you know, uh, everything was under British rule. But Srila Prabhupada knew that one day America will be the top. So, Srila Prabhupada directly approached first America because people started start following the Americans. So, Prabhupada went and Prabhupada saw that there, it's in a very normal life. Um, they eat non vegetarian foods it's available everywhere and they ha- they are they are they're not not caring about their marriage life to have a physical relationship so it's illegal relationships they are maintaining and they are intoxicated many are many are taking alcohols after 18 they are uh, allowed and so many intoxications tea coffee is just no normal thing so and drugs like that, LSD, marijuana, and uh, gambling like casino. So many casinos are available. The facilities are given. Then also, Shila Prabhupada never compromised with his disciples. Uh, so with his disciples, he, he said that it's not very difficult to follow these four regulative principles. These things should be stopped if you want to be serious in devotional practice otherwise what Prabhupada is saying otherwise make a farce and do whatever you like I cannot give you protection that is not possible so if we don't follow four regulative principles nobody can give us protection even our guru will say I can't give you protection that is not possible so we must follow these four regulative principles so in the lecture on Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, 1.16.35, at Hawaii, January 28, 1974, Srila Prabhupada said, So you must have to follow these rules and regulation if you are serious. Then take initiation. Otherwise, don't make farce. Don't make farce. That is my request. So, uh, before initiation, it's not like uh, outside uh, is gone. Uh, those parampara who are not authentic, many gurus are like this, that they d- even don't have any parampara, and they are giving initiation, and they are saying, okay, uh, if you are eating meat, it's okay, you are eating anything is okay, okay, you chant any mantra, who, whomever demigod you are worshipping. So, this kind of... Uh, uh, things is not happening in ISKCON because it's authentic uh, institution and authentic parampara Vaishnav Sampradaya. So here, uh, Prabhupada is saying, unless you follow these four principles, initiation will not happen. 
and that's why we, we can see that we have to practice one year two year minimum uh, 16 rounds regularly without fail even one single day and four principles also and after initiation it's not like that we can okay we can start the tea again now i have taken initiation no it's a big offense so we practice before uh, we go for initiation so that's this request by shila Prabhupada. be serious and don't make farce in a letter to Raja Lakshmi, Mayapur, February 17, 1976, Srila Prabhupada said, My advice is always chant 16 rounds minimum and follow the four regulative principles. All of my disciples must agree on this point, otherwise they are not my disciples. My disciples must follow these principles living either in heaven or hell. So Srila Prabhupada rejected those who are not following four principles and doing 16 rounds of Hare Krishna Maha Mantra every day. It is sadhana, it's a practice. To, um, to be in a one standard of in the spiritual life, we must uh, follow this. So Prabhupada is saying that uh, all of my disciples must agree, otherwise they are not my disciples. So it is very important, Prabhupada is rejecting uh, those who are not following. And uh, Prabhupada is saying my disciple must follow four principles and um, they must chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra 16 rounds even they are in heaven or hell doesn't matter here heaven or he hell means in the earth also there are some situations like heavenly situations when we are very happy and everything good going with us and there are some hellish situation like for example we lost someone who, whom we love very much or we got very sick like that there are some situations but then also we need to do 16 rounds and we need to follow four principles for example if some person is going through some severe operation and he was um, not in his sense for one or two days then it's okay he is obviously following four principles because he is already in the coma or sleeping but after that when he will come in the sense then he need to still uh, chant the rounds he missed means for example he missed the two days round 16 plus 16 32 then third day he cannot uh, chant uh, if 32 together so he can uh, he can divide like okay with my 16 rounds i will chant every day four or five rounds extra so the 32 rounds rounds uh, covered so it is very important. We cannot live, okay, I was see Krishna also understand, everyone is also understand, understand, but it's for our own protection. It's very important. Even we are in hellish condition, even if our mind is not in anything because I am so sad, then also we need to chant 16 rounds. Or even if we are happy. This is our tapasya. So uh, Prabhupada is saying, if still you are unable to fulfill that promise to your spiritual master, then what is the use of calling yourself devotee and disciple? Because uh, to become a human being actually, we need to follow these four principles. And a devotee is ex expected that he will never ever break these four principles. But even if we do don't do then we have no right to tell ourselves as devotee or disciple of an authentic spiritual master. That is simply pretending. So, uh, we should not be, we should be genuine actually. Srila Prabhupada from very starting teaching us that we should be genuine. We should not be like at home we are doing something, but outside we are showing something like we are a very great devotee. I am following this thing. But at home we are, uh, because nobody is there to see us, so we are uh, taking everything, uh, whatever is um, uh, prevented by our acharyas, but we are, we are following and we are not following four principles and that is uh, not good and we cannot uh, get the protection from the uh, from our spiritual master so you should think like this that i have promised my spiritual master this now i must obey him without any exception otherwise i have no business calling myself his disciple that will be your austerity or tapasya for forcing you to make very rapid advancement in Krishna conscious understanding. See, uh, if you remember from your childhood, maybe not every child, but uh, most of the child, they don't like to uh, stick to the study table and studying 
books only they love to play but still parents uh, force them uh, no in this timing this three hours you need to study your school books like that so even we, when we uh, reach college and then parents might not doing this uh, close supervision but for exam we have to force our mind to study because uh, uh, mind uh, is always uh, roaming here and there but krishna said okay abhyasena to kanteya vairagyana chakrihate so we have to practice so here shila prabhupada is saying that uh, to advance in krishna consciousness mind will not tell okay let's uh, 24 hours let's engage in krishna conscious activities if mind is saying that then we reach the raganuga bhakti but uh, it's not possible uh, till we reach the uh, high level uh, in the shraddha so for that what is our austerity our austerity is uh, or tapasya austerity means tapasya that forcing ourselves to make rapid advancement in krishna conscious understanding without tapasya tapasya is what uh, so many things happening outside but uh, uh, we are doing um, engaging our mind in krishna it's like a uh, uh what even ravan ravanas and ravanas brother kumbhakarna uh, how he did tapasya in the very cold uh, cold weather like in uh, badrinath and that cold very cold and uh, alaknanda is very cold ice cold water within the water uh, enter and chant name of uh, they they chanted uh, brahma's name because asuras demands never worship lord krishna and when it's hot then very hot and they will again um, prepare some fire surrounding and on the top of his head also and they will chant brahma's name like that so the paisa means outside so many uh, provoking situation but still we have to concentrate on krishna so that is the paisa so without the paisa there is no question of making advancement but if you want to call yourself devotee and serve krishna in that capacity then you must avoid these four basic principle restrictions under all circumstances without any exceptions in a letter to sankarshana bombay december 31 1972 shri prabhupada said of course once krishna may excuse that is not very difficult but more than that it will become very difficult for krishna to excuse you and there is great risk that everything will be lost despite all of your time and effort spent so we we put so much of effort uh, to reach uh, in that standard four principle 16 rounds but if we um, give little leniency to our mind and even with the dead matter we get attracted even to the dead matter if we are associating for example uh, some people they are very much uh, attracted to the electronic gadgets and they are, they are uh, so much attracted that they keep associating with the dead matters and uh, that also uh, brings more attachment like um, there is a uh, one example uh, from uh, like uh, of a sadhu uh, because he th- he came to know that even there is different kind of association with the dead matters uh, with uh, like um, the evil minded people with animals association or the pure people the pure devotees so association is very important whom we are associating so there was one sadhu and he isolated himself from the society because he knew that association matters a lot for spiritual progress so he came to jungle and started staying uh, making an ashram like a little hut and like that so one day one army man he came to his hut and said uh oh sadhu baba i came from so far and i am very tired i want to spend a uh, uh, few hours uh, sleeping at your hut can you please um, allow me then sadhu said no no not possible you are a totally rajasic person rajoguni fighting killing and uh, i don't want even uh, one moment association with you because i came here living everything Uh, so that um, i can do uh, bhakti but uh, what you are uh, i can't take your association so i can't give my heart to so army man he understood okay i understand uh, your point okay but uh, my uh, my uh, this short means uh, talwar 
I want to keep here because it's uh, uh, it's very precious for me and if I sleep somewhere outside somebody can take so please allow me at least keep this sword here then Sadhu thought okay then no no problem then he said okay you can keep here but he never uh, saw the even the sword and he know that even dead matters attracts so then army went and he slept somewhere in jungle and he did, he he left uh, he forgot and he left a sword there and he um, went back to his place wherever he wanted to go but what happened um, sadhu he know that um, this is uh, full uh, you know this talwar is um, not good even going to the near because even the dead matters attracts so he didn't go for one week but after that he saw that uh, the place is becoming dirty so to clean the place he just took the talwar like this and he cleaned like every day he was doing that and one day what he did he just hold like a you know army man that uh, talwar and, sh and, and then he starting playing little like 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 this and he started um, liking it and when and after that when he went to jungle and that time also he uh, took the uh, talwar with him and uh, he thought that uh, it's good for safety if I carry this and uh, then he started playing with that and like cutting plants and like that he, when he was walking and one day in a plant there was a, a snake so by mistake he cut the snake and snake died so because he's a sadhu and he felt very bad oh why I did this I, I I did a big scene then at the time his mind said no you did good because uh, even in scriptures it is mentioned that snakes are very envious and even sadhu becomes happy when a snake uh, is killed so he didn't uh, do any mistake so like that he thought and another day uh, one uh, jungly uh, cat he was uh, just uh, in, uh, to jump uh, into the sadhu like attacking mood then sadhu cut him and like that because of the attraction uh, with that uh, talwar and uh, with that sword attracted him so much all the time he carried and he felt something like warrior and uh, he become robber he become a murderer and he forgot every spirituality so even the dead matter association is not good like if, if, if we are very much attracted to the uh, things that like some people are very much attracted to the gold or to the um, land or to the house or to the electronic things mobile or TV or these are also uh, very um, risky so that's why uh, to avoid the risk uh, we should always associate with Krishna conscious things and Krishna conscious devotees Krishna may excuse us if sometimes we um, fall down and we break uh, one rule like that but uh, it's not possible for Krishna also excusing every time so whatever we have done everything uh, we will destroy ourselves Srila Prabhupada is saying that in Bhagavad Gita 9.31 uh, Srila Prabhupada said that purifying process is there in the heart of devotee. According to the Vedas, there is a certain regulation that if one falls down from his exalted position, he has to undergo um, certain ritualistic process to purify himself. Like uh, when we drink water, then also some you know living entity is dying. Or we are cleaning our house, then also... And we are cooking something and we using the fire then also and um, when uh, we are walking or we are driving so many living entities dying and it's not like that we will not get the sin obviously we will get the sin but what's happening with outside people they need to do panchashuni yagya and now people even don't know what is the panchashuni yagya every day it has to be done by uh, people because these five things they cannot avoid in cleaning in walking you know in cooking in drinking water or like that but uh, for devotees pure purifying process is in their heart why because they are chanting every day 
हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे तो सिक्सटीन राउंड देर चैंटिंग एवरी डे सो डेट्स वाई दे आर फ्री फ्रॉम ऑल ऑफ द सीन सो इट डजेंट मीन दे ओके आई एम फ्री सो आई एम चैंटिंग सिक्सटीन राउंड सो लेट मी किल दिस ककरोच लेट मी किल दिस दैट नो आई शुड नॉट डू दैट ऑल्सो बट येस बट आर नोइंगली वट एवर इज हैपनिंग कृष्ण विल टेक केयर so but uh, prabhupada is saying but here there is no such condition with the devotees because the purifying process is already there in the heart of the devotees due to his re- remembering the supreme personality of godhead constantly therefore the chanting of hari krishna maha mantra should be continued without stoppage why shri prabhupada actually saved us by giving us these rules and regulations In the lecture Bhagavad Gita three point six two ten Los Angeles December twenty third nineteen sixty eight, Prabhupada said that um, this is tug of war, so don't be afraid of Maya. Simply enhance chanting and you will be conqueror. That's all. Krishna says, "Kante ya prati jani hi namay bhakto pranashyati." Bhagavad Gita nine point thirty one. If just declare Arjuna, Krishna is saying to Arjuna. My devotee will never be vanquished by Maya. Maya cannot do anything. Simply, you have to become strong. And what is the strength? Chant Hari Krishna Maha Mantra loudly. Yes. So uh, we need to chant uh, at much, uh, at least this much loudly, so that our uh, ear can hear and we can hear our own voice. And this is mantra meditation, proper Hari Krishna mantra meditation. so then we will become stronger and maya cannot do anything and it is it is actually krishna's protection hari krishna maha mantra is krishna himself so in kali yuga krishna took incarnation of at uh, hari krishna maha mantra krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu came himself to give us this maha mantra so uh, in the we can see that uh, what is the importance of uh, diksha and uh, to to take initiation we need to follow these four principles and uh, shila prabhupada is giving very much importance and writing so many letters to his disciples and saying if you do this tapasya you will advance in devotional practices and uh, but if you don't if you don't follow then uh, like if you are cooking something and uh, you are uh, just sprinkling water in the fire then the sabji will be not cooked properly so similarly uh, if we are doing chanting but uh, similarly at the same time we are thinking okay we are already doing chanting so little bit sin or little bit breaking the rules is okay no it's not like that so chaitanya mahaprabhu actually accepts all kinds of sinners also but uh, they must uh, uh they must be like a, they they were sinner but now they have understood by the mercy of devotees but now they should not do um the sins uh, like thinking that okay hari naam will deliver us it is a it is a offense to hari naam so prabhupad is uh, saying that uh, you are not a gentleman if you are not following these four principles and what is the question of a devotee so this is the importance of this four regulative principles following four regulative principles and doing 16 rounds it's single there thank you very much hari krishna